In the past few days, I've had a chance to chat with many young developers from Nigeria who are looking for opportunities outside the country. And after viewing more than 50 profiles, I really think we need to talk about this. In this video, I will show you how to make any recruiter want to talk to you after viewing your profile. Welcome to the channel. My name is Joshua and I'm an AI engineer currently based in Tokyo, Japan. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. And if this is not your first time, thank you for coming again. The reason for this channel is for me to share my experience so that you can learn from my experience. And so through that, you can also make good decisions for yourself. Please consider liking, subscribing and sharing this video as it helps the channel to grow. Now to the video. Your first objective, if you're looking for a tech job, is to make sure that your profile is enticing enough for any recruiter so that they can approach you and talk to you. If your profile is not enticing enough, there is no way that anyone is going to know what kind of talent you have and what you have to offer a potential company. To make your profile enticing, you need three things. Number one is a platform. The platform is the place where you share your skill, your experience, or your education. I think that LinkedIn is probably the best platform you can use for this purpose. LinkedIn offers a way to connect you to potential recruiters or potential employers. You need to know how to use LinkedIn effectively so that you can find the right people and the right people can also find you. And if your profile is set up correctly, LinkedIn can recommend you to recruiters who might be looking for someone who fits your profile. And apart from LinkedIn, there are so many other platforms out there that you can use. You just have to use it effectively to connect to the kind of people you want to connect with. Number two, which I think is very important, is your personal web page. This is a static web page which is made specially for you and only you to showcase your talent. One example is using GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages makes it easy to create a free profile or projects website so that you can easily showcase your talent, your experience, and the things you can offer a prospective recruiter. And if a recruiter sees that you have this kind of edge, then they will be really, really interested in you. Number two thing that you need to stand out is your portfolio. A portfolio is a collection of your experience highlighting the things that you have worked on. It helps you to show your capability and ability to deliver your worth to the potential recruiter. The things you actually want to highlight in your portfolio are your activities. That is probably the least thing you can highlight. And as I mentioned before, using GitHub pages, this is one, and actually using your GitHub profile, that is where you store your codes or the things that you write, is a very good way to show your activity. The other thing you need to highlight are your projects, the projects you are working on. It could be projects that you're working on for a client or you are, that you have worked on before or projects that you are collaborating with other people with or it could also be contributions probably in open source or into other projects. These are ways that you can show a prospective recruiter that you are active and that you have something to contribute and so that if they recruit you then they can expect that you can contribute such and such things into the company that they might be recruiting you into. And finally the last thing you need is a presentation. How do you put all these things together so that you can present it to the prospective recruiter? You can do this through the platforms I've mentioned before or your resume. As a matter of fact, your resume is the first thing that any recruiter is going to ask you when they decide to talk to you. You should always have your resume handy and it should be updated with all your latest skills and experience so that you can easily send it to a recruiter when they need it. In order of importance, there are sections in your resume that you really need to pay attention to. Number one is your skill. You must be able to highlight the skills that you have and that you can offer the recruiter when they talk to you. For example, the programming languages that you use, the frameworks and your working style. These are the things that most uh, recruiters want to see because they have this image in mind of the kind of person that they want to recruit. And so if they are not seeing it through your resume, it is hard for them to actually want to hire you. Be sure to make use of keywords that a potential recruiter would really like to see in your resume. And number two is your education. Make sure that you put your latest and most relevant education first. You don't need to add non-relevant uh, educations or non-relevant skills to your resume. And if you don't have an experience, this is very common with young developers. You need to show a potential. How do you show potential? Make sure to list online courses that you have done 
maybe boot camps that you have attended and personal projects that you have also done and contributions that you have made. All of this comes together to show the potential that you would have if the recruiter decides to go ahead with you. And understand that there is no one size fits all resume. Make sure you tailor the resume towards the kind of job that you're looking for. Make sure to see the content of the application and tailor your resume to the content of that application. And one more thing is that make sure to use links as much as possible. If you are sending your resume through a PDF, make sure to add the links of the past projects that you have done if they are public. Don't just mention that I did this kind of project. If there is a link to that project, make sure to include it in the description of the project. This helps you to be able to sell yourself easily without even meeting the recruiter. And those are my tips for how you can make your profile enticing for any recruiter. Do you have any other tips that you want to share? Let me know in the comments below. Now with all those tips, go ahead and take the challenge. Apply for that job, connect with that recruiter and let them see what you are made of. Once again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like and share the video. See you in the next one.